Hello dear students. Welcome to our online lesson. Today we are going to read and translate special text. Uh, then you will hear a recording, li listening and do some listening. You will and of course then comes grammar which helps you to enlarge your knowledge horizons in uh, question tag. At the final stage of our lesson, I will give you a home assignment, which you should do and send me via internet. So let's begin. I think you won't be get bored. Let's begin with our reading special text. So the return of artificial intelligence. So guys, this is our reading material. Assalamu alaikum qadrli talabalar. Online darsimizga xush kelibsiz. Bugungi darsda siz demak, texnik matnni men bilan birga o'qiysiz va quyidagi mashqlarni o'zingiz mustaqil bajarasiz. Sonra albatta sizga men audio tasma qo'yib beraman. Siz uni diqqat bilan eshitasiz va unga ham mashqlar bajarasiz. Va darsimizning yakunida sizni grammatik mavzu kutadi. Prezentatsiya va darsning oxirida sizga albatta uy vazifa beriladi. Keling hozir mana bu tekstga diqqatimizni qaratamiz. The return of artificial intelligence. Diqqat bilan tekstga qarang. Bu tekst abzatslarga bo'lingan bo'lib, A, B, C, D, E, F, G abzatlari. Demak, bu tekstni diqqat bilan o'qiysiz va quyidagi mashqlarni bajarasiz. Which paragraph contains the following information? Yani, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 gaplarda bizga malumot berilgan, gaplar berilgan. Demak, qay, bu gaplar, bu gaplar, bu yokil bu bo'lmasam, bu malumot qaysi abzatlarda bizga Yani shu ma'lumot haqida avtor gapirganligini biz belgilab qo'yishimiz kerak. Gaplarni oldiga. Keyingi vazifamiz true false not given. True false not given biz ko'p darslarda bajarar edik bunday vazifalarni. True degani rost, false yolg'on, not given, значит, bunday ma'lumot berilmagan. Bu ham sizlarga qiyinchilik tug'dirmaydi degan niyatdaman. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 mashqlarni bajarasiz. Va false, true yoki not given deb yozib chiqamiz. Keyin esa 38, 39, 40 vazifalar bular test vazifalaridir. Multiple choice deydi ingliz tilida. According to research in the late 1980s there was a feeling that va to'rtta javob. In Dr. Leek's opinion, the reputation of AI suffered as a result of to'rtta javob. The prospects of AI may benefit from to'rtta javob. Qadrli talabalar, yuqoridagi tekst qiyin emas. Siz uzun uni diqqat bilan o'qib chiqsangiz, quyida bergan vazifalarni osongina bajarasiz.
Sizlerden fakat iltimas. Uş bu tekste uçuragen barca notanış not sözlerini oz lugatlarınızda yazıp, tercihme kılıp, sözlerini yotlayın. Kengi vazifege ottik. Demek, sizge hazır men audio tasmanı koy beraman. Siz ne makale şimkiz kerey? Listen attentively and you will have to answer the questions on what you hear. Yani, dikkat bilen eşdiğin ve kuydagi vazifalarını bacarin. Section 3 You will hear part of a seminar on ocean research given by a climate scientist. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Yigirma birinci dan to yigirma beşinci savol gecha qarab chiqing va diqqat bilan eshiting. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Thanks to all of you for coming along today to hear about how the robotic float project is helping with ocean research. Well, first of all, we'll look at what a robotic float does and its use. So let's start with the device itself. It looks a bit like a cigar and it's about one and a half meters long. More importantly, it's full of equipment that's designed to collect data. So it can help us in building up a profile of different factors which work together within the world's oceans. Sounds like a big project. Isn't it too big for one country to undertake? That's quite true, but this project is a really good example of international cooperation. Over the last five years, scientists from 13 countries have been taking part in the project and launching floats in their area of ocean control. And next year, this number will rise to 14 when Indonesia joins the project. That's impressive. But let's move on to how floats work. The operational cycle goes like this. Each of the floats is dropped in the ocean from a boat at a set point and activated from a satellite. Then the float immediately sinks about 2,000 meters. That's two whole kilometers down in the water. It stays at this depth for about 10 days and is carried around by the currents which operate in the ocean at this level. During this time, it's possible for it to cover quite large distances, but the average is 50 kilometers. So what is it actually recording? Well, at this stage, nothing. But as it rises to the surface, it collects all sorts of data. Most importantly, variations in salinity, that's salt levels, and the changes in temperature, a bit like underwater weather balloons. Then, when it gets back to the surface, all the data it's collected is beamed up to the satellite. After about five hours on the surface, the float automatically sinks, beginning the whole process again. What happens to the data? Well, the information is transferred direct to onshore meteorological stations, like our one in Hobart, and within four hours the findings can be on computers, and they can be mapped and analysed. Before you hear the rest of the seminar, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 26 to 30. You say you're building models of the world's ocean systems, but how are they going to be used? And more importantly, when? Some of the data has already helped in completing projects. For example, our understanding of the underlying causes of El Nino events is being confirmed by float data. 
Another way we're using float data is to help us to understand the mechanics of climate change, like global warming and ozone depletion. That's part of an ongoing variability study, but the results are still a long way off. However, this is not the case with our ocean weather forecasting. Because we know from the floats what the prevailing weather conditions will be in certain parts of the ocean, we can advise the Navy on search and rescue missions. That's happening right now, and many yachtsmen owe their lives to the success of this project. In addition, the float data can help us to look at the biological implications of ocean processes. Would that help with preserving fish stocks? Yes, and advising governments on fisheries legislation. We're well on the way to completing a project on this. We hope it will help to bring about more sustainable fishing practices. We'll be seeing the results of that quite soon. It sounds like the data from floats has lots of applications. Yes, it does. It's also a powerful agricultural tool. If we were aware of what the weather would be like, say, uh, next year, we could make sure that the farmers planted appropriate grain varieties to produce the best yield from the available rainfall. That sounds a bit like science fiction, <laughs> especially when now we can't even tell them when a drought will break. I agree that this concept is still a long way in the future, but it will come eventually, and the float data will have made a contribution. That is the end of section three. You Diqqat bilan eshitdingiz. Endi javoblaringizni bir tekshirib chiqing. Javoblarni to'g'ri yozgan yozgansiz degan niyatdaman. Kengi vazifa gerdik. Kengi vazifa mız bu gramatika. Question tag. Yani tasdıq saval. Question tags are short Questions that follow a sentence, especially in spoken English. Yani, tasdiq soroq bu, qisqa soroq bo'lib, gapni oxirida beriladi. Asosan, og'zaki ingliz tilida. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, lovely. Go, juda gozal kun, shundaymi? Ha, gozal. Kordingiz mi? Kordingiz mi? Qadrli Isn't it? Mana bu yerda bu question tag. O'zi tag dum degan ma'noni ham bildiradi. Ya'ni dum, ya'ni gapni oxirida berilgan bir kichkinagina so'roq yoki bo'lmasam, oddiy tilda gapirganda dumcha, dum. Mana qarang. We use a question tag to ask if something is true or to ask people to agree with us or just to keep the conversation going. Yani biz tasdiq soroqni biron bir narsani tasdiqlash uchun yoki bormasam, to'g'riligini bilish uchun yoki suhbatni davom etishi uchun ishlatamiz. Rule 1. Use a negative tag after a positive sentence and a positive tag after a negative sentence. Demay, bu qoydani oqib chiqib biz nimani tushundik. Gap, darak gap bo'lsa, biz o'sha tasdiq so'roqni inkorda. Gap, inkor bo'lsa, tasdiq so'roqni darakda ishlatamiz. Qaraylik. The earth is bigger than the moon, isn't it? Yani mana bu birinchi gapimiz. Darak, tasdiq esa inkorda. The earth isn't as big as the sun. Gap inkorda, tasdiq darakda. Is it? Keyingi slide. Use the same auxiliary or modal verb as it is in the main sentence. Nima degan? 
Yani yapta o şey yordamcı filmi ya ki model filmi işletin. Yani her bir zamanımız oz yordamcı filmi ege. O şey yordamcı filmi biz bu savalda işletişimiz gerek. Mesela we will go out together won't we? Bu future simple zamanı yordamcı filmimize will tastıkta biz will won't we yani will yordam çifelini inkar manoda işlettik. Albert cannot play the violin. Can he? Mana bu yerde madal fiyeli verilgen can madal fiyeli. Tastıkta biz can madal fiyelini işlettik. Kengi üçüncü. If the main sentence has no auxiliary use do, does or did. Boya etkenim deyik, her bir zamanını, uzını, yordamcı fiilini işletemiz. Bana kuyuda uçta gəpte, present simple ve past simple misal da berilgen. Asian people like rice, don't they? She speaks Russian, doesn't she? Jack bought a new car last week, didn't he? Bana don't, doesn't, didn't. Remember, it's the two things. I'm late, aren't I? Let's go, shall we? Yani şu iki halette, I am late. Men keçke kaldım. Şun daimi demokçı bozak, aren't I boladı. Am not, I am as. Let's go, kettik, shall we? Şun daimi? Demek, she needs some help. They are away for a week. I am fine. It's warm. It wasn't your turn. There is a problem. You are not serious. You often come here. You won't be late. Let's go home. Kuydaki gaplarını siz tastık soru gaplar savollarını şu yerden topıp bu vazifanı müstakil bacarışıngiz gerek. Kengi slide. Demek 8. 9. ve 10. slaytlarda vazifalar şu vazif şu maşkını vazif şu maşkını toluq ana kadar toluq versiyada koramız. Uş bu slaytlarını uyda karab çıkayın. Ve sizge uy işe activity book page 64-65 Exercise 2-3-4-6 Karin Kadirli Talabala You are the most You are the most beautiful bird in the world, aren't you? You have nice feathers, haven't you? You have the sweetest voice, haven't you? But you cannot sing, can you? Mana bu birligen gaplar bizge kaysi matalni eslatadi. Albat the fox and the crow, yani tulki ile karga. Before the end, the question of the day. Question texts are fun to learn, aren't they? Yani, tastık soru gaplarını organış, 
zikarli şunday mı? Siz ne mi de boylaysız talabalar? Demek siz neyin vazifengiz? Uş bu mavzunu slaytlarda, 33 de slaytta karab, dikkat bilen, yana bir bor okup, vazifalarını bacarasız, Ve menge online jönetasız. Vaxtingizni olganım uçun uzur. Hayır, salamat bolun.